Today's Flats Class YouTube video is really going to be about some of your questions that you've posted on our channel. So I'm going to do my best over the next few minutes and answer as many as I can and hopefully you'll appreciate some of the answers that I come up with. So let's jump into the first question from the YouTube channel. The first question was, how do I locate fish on the flat? That's very simple. You have to look for signs of life. So you're going to be looking for shorebirds. You're going to be looking for diving pelicans. Once you're up on the flat, you might start looking more for stingray muds, head wakes, pushes, other bait fish such as mullet or glass minnows. You've got to have signs of life to know whether that's going to be a productive flat. If you can find that, then you're going to be working areas and you'll eventually locate the fish, whether you do it with search baits or whether you do it with really good optics. Question number two, when do I use hard baits and where would I use hard baits? And even what type of hard baits would I choose most of the time? I think you can't go wrong. Uh, if I selfishly say, you look at the mirror lure lineup. They make some excellent profiles and baits that you can use in a multiple uh, scenarios. For instance, if it's low light in the morning, I would start throwing a topwater. I would throw topwater plugs like the Top Dog Junior, um, the uh, Topwater Mirror Mullet XL. Those are fantastic choices to throw for fish first at first light or last light. Secondly, I would look at the Miradine lineup. The Miradine family has a number of different sizes, anything from Mini Deans uh, to the old MR17 original. Now they have some custom bait colors that they have in their, uh, in their Clear Eye series. And then you can work up to the Miradine XL. So there's, there's a lot of options there and those work, uh, whether you're pothole fishing or backcountry fishing, I use those probably in the mirror lure lineup more than any other hard bait. Now there are going to be some, some I guess, subtles, uh, subtle baits that you might use from time to time. The mirror lure standby, the 7M, that's a fantastic bait when fish are short striking topwaters. S7M would be an excellent choice. Uh, the 52 or the 51M are, are best used when it's just a little bit deeper. If you're fishing deeper potholes or along the intercoastal, those are fantastic bait choices. So I hope that answers question number two. Question number three, how do I like targeting shallow water cobia and what lures do I like to throw for them? Well, there's a variety of baits I like to, to throw to shallow water cobia. I typically start looking for shallow water cobia in the springtime, anywhere from late February all the way into early May. Uh, that window of time is extremely productive, anywhere from Crystal River, Florida, moving south all the way down to Sarasota Bay. Now, if you push pole areas that have, let's say, anywhere from two foot to six feet of water, and you start looking for big southern stingrays. But you also have to look for manatees because they'll tag along with manatees. And occasionally they'll even tag along with big sharks. So when I'm looking at those, those, those areas that are gonna have that, you're gonna need to look for turtle grass flats uh, that are expansive, that are gonna hold lots of rays. But that southern stingray is your clue to where, you're, where you should be fishing for those cobia. Now, once I locate the cobia, best baits to throw are going to be longer soft plastics in the five to seven inch range. And you can use a, a, a lot of colors. I like the earth tone colors the best, like watermelon, brown pumpkin, green pumpkin, black. They all work very well. But if you notice, we did a show last year with uh, Captain Lisa Fitzgerald and we threw the 51M mirror lure and we really threw that so that we could make long presentations and that you could see the lure from a greater distance. And all we had to do was look for the rays, present to the rays. Once we presented to the rays, it was easy for the cobia to find, uh, find the baits trailing behind them. So target that area for Crystal River or Sarasota and I think you'll find a lot of cobia in there. Question number four. How do I target flounder on the flat? 
Well, you need to find flats that are in close proximity to passes where there's lots of current flow, or at least intercoastal uh, areas where the water funnels down and creates a hard, strong current. Flats that have hard, strong current, especially during the, neat, uh, the, uh, the major moons, those potholes that are closest to the channel are probably going to hold flounder. Now for me, I like to throw a bucktail with a small plastic trailer that's scented and work it tight to the bottom to catch those flounder, almost dragging it, if you will, in those potholes. I target potholes anywhere from two feet to six feet deep, um, looking for those zones where flounder might be. In West Central Florida, my home waters, it seems as if the best time of year for flounder fishing is anywhere from October through January. That's when I, I seem to catch the most of them on the flat when I'm working bait slow in those potholes anyway. So if you're looking for a, a, a bait that is super effective for flounder, try the Z-Man BTB jig and then put any type of small finesse trailer on there. Anything with a little swim tail or a split tail. Something that you can put some Procure scent on and work tight to the bottom. The quarter ounce version of that bait works excellent and I try to pick colors that emulate shrimp. Uh, that would be the Houdini or the Root Beer Gold. You'll have a lot of success. Hey, I really appreciate you guys tuning into Flats Class YouTube and asking these questions. I hope from time to time uh, we can knock out four or five questions every other week. So catch you guys next week at Flats Class YouTube.